Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened Remastered. I was gonna go ahead and stop playing today, but Mikaela won't be home for a little while longer, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and play for one more episode. Um, now that I've actually made some progress, I don't want to stop making progress, I want to keep snowballing, otherwise I'll just get lost again. And I really don't want to do that. Wait, can I take this? I can just take a whole cart. Alright. Go this way. There we go. What's this? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Impossible. This lock is too complex. This lock is too complex for this tool. All right. This lock is too complex for this. This lock is too com. Okay, what's down here? Nothing. There's a note. I want to read it. Following the unintentional fire caused by uninspired staff members, I made the decision to forbid access to the kitchen and dining room to all staff other than Frau Meyer and myself. It is necessary to get this dragon to leave, so I can freely examine the kitchen. Perhaps if I can create smoke, she will go into a panic and leave, thinking there is a fire. Yeah, well... <laughs> Potash, the perfect ingredient for creating smoke. Potash, the potash, the pup. Here. Potash, the pup. I I get you. Potash, the. Potash, the. Here now, I must take care to measure the precise dose. Step over him. It's fine. So, do I use the scale now? A scale? This won't be of any use. Won't be of any use. And huh? there, it is done. Now I know the exact capacity of the bottle. A scale. This won't be of any... Okay. Does that mean I can go back now? I must create a... I must create a smoking...
there's a note here. A truss for roast beef. I found my bag still full of bird seed. Uh, three short bells, one long. When it arrives, the first at the first basement, the way up will be blocked. You'll have to go down to get the dishes afterwards. Three short bells and then one long one. Oh. How have I not this been gateway here before? must lead to the last floor, or hell as Maurizio calls it. Okay, does this tell me anything? This is meant to be used by two people, and here I am alone. What should be done? I have to create a system to use this lever in distance. Do you want a rope? The only solution is to find a method allowing me to lower this external lever when I am between the two gates. I... what? I had to look up a walkthrough because I was just so stuck. And apparently there was just an anvil sitting here that I now have. And over here in this chick's room is some macrame pot holder. Which, like... I didn't even see? I swear I've clicked on everything in this damn room. But... Apparently not. Apparently I was missing this. Fraulein Muller does not seem particularly gifted. Fraulein Muller does... Ah, oh, you want me to take this. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this exhibition, but I dare say it shall prove useful. <sighs> okay. Hot damn. Apparently this is where I use the trolley. The only solution is to find a method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a tiny anvil. Okay, okay. Levers are well oiled. All right. Yeah, no. I was completely lost. I would have never found those things. Okay, you're locked in now. There, it is done. I'm on my own from here. That seems like a security problem. Alright. Downstairs. To the dungeons. Holmes? You good? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. For real, I am stuck. Holmes, please. <sighs> well, let's do it again.
we're back. I'm saving. Now we're gonna go down and try and see uh, whoever the fuck's down here. Hey, it worked this time. Oh, this is a dungeon. Oh, hello. Three times three is nine. Two times five is ten. Pardon me, sir. Could I trouble you for some information? Nasty, nasty cheat. I shall say nothing to you. Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is twenty-four. I shall speak only to Professor Schwartz. He understands that I have learned all my lessons. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Apparently, he will speak only with this professor. Okay. Perhaps the medical files on this man, Wolf, will be helpful. Alright. Apparently, the doctor's office is all the way down here in the dungeon. Hold on. Let's go see what's over here. This door is quite solidly built, but the lock is rudimentary. Never again will I go out on a case without a small spoon at my side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. I just guessed on the first one. Oh my god. Okay. Who could have forgotten this? This well must empty directly into an underground river. Yep. Remind me not to drink the water here. These are the tools of a butcher. I agree. The sawdust on this soil was recently disturbed. Someone was searching for something here. Is that the key I just got? Oh, that's a leg. My god, there is a body inside. I'm glad I spared Watson this horror. This place conceals deeds far more sinister than the mere traffic in dangerous goods. Indeed. Doors closing behind me really freaked me out. Oh, that way. Let's go to the doctor's office. Alright. Save. In case something crashes again. <coughs> hey. The Worship of Ghouls by Count Derlet. I do not think this book would give the reader pleasant dreams if reserved for bedtime reading. Probably not. I don't know what this guy Jack's studied, but judging by his office and what I saw before, he is more dangerous than any of his patients. This man seems to suffer from every possible mental affliction. Judging by the date of his admission, he must be one of the oldest patients here. Hmm. The former hospital director researched his case and mentions Wolf's professor. Apparently, he was the only person of influence with the poor fellow. There is even a portrait of the late professor included in with the reports. Oh, good lord. Okay. Gotcha. So I just need a fake beard. So this is Professor Schwartz. Uh, okay. A cable from New Orleans sent in the last few weeks. If the shipment of these goods from New Orleans relies upon a transfer of funds from Europe, it is possible the actual exchange won't take place for a few weeks. There may still be time to intervene. Uh, how far technology has come? Closed. Tight. Do you want the key? Closed. Tight. Oh, there's a key right here. Oh. 
There's a small label that says classroom. Um Wilhelm Burger. Probably Burger, but Burger. Oh wow. That's a lot. I don't know if I can do anything else in here right now. I need to figure out where a classroom is, I guess. Becker. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's this place. Hey, Becker. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes, he is Wolf. But you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, this Professor Schwartz. But I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps the medical files on this man, Wolf, will be helpful. I've already gotten them. <coughs> Is this the classroom? Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Nope, go back. This place is so damn confusing. This looks like it could be a classroom. Yeah! Someone playing phase 10 in here? It must be used to punish insolent pupils. Slightly excessive. This should prove useful. Now I have an and now disguise. time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf. In a second. I want to look around the classroom more. Isn't that Freud? Uh, there's like nothing here, I don't think. All right. So, Wolf, I see you have mastered your lesson. Splendid. P -p professor Schwartz? I congratulate you, Wolf. I cannot say the same about your other classmates. I am most unhappy with their behavior, because it seems they have been cheating. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes he tries to keep me from my lessons. He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. Now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. They meet over there, but it is well hidden and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term. But for now, you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. I don't need it anymore. I'll just take it off right in front of him. 
Ha! It was me all along. Alright, so... Um, fire near his office. And then... Fire in front of you. And then fire behind you. Wait, can I? Hello? Maybe I did it wrong? Oh my god. Apparently, I have again missed something. So we'll see if they stay up if I go in here. Unbelievable. These letters are from various Swiss banks and show that the doctor made several sales of precious stones over these last months and each time for higher profit. He must have access to a real treasure. I see numerous transfers were made to an account holder in the Bank of London and another in a bank here in New Orleans. I must take note of these transactions. Hold on, there is an oily stain on this letter. It smells of iodine. Interesting. I just leave. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. How have I not came in here yet? The faint signs remaining on this blackboard are in phonetics. It appears that people were forced to recite some text with no real understanding of its meaning. It's a pity that the text was erased. Yeah, it's quite a pity. What's this? A battery with a crank starter. No doubt used to stimulate his patience. Yeah, I missed this whole fucking room. Is that a bird? A notebook detailing the experiments conducted by Mr. Gijax. These birds are from the Avery. They served a purpose beyond mere decoration. Indeed. I'm looking up a walkthrough. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can only be our mysterious patient. What a strange character. Okay. Sure, why not? Apparently it's this one that I need to do. works. Simplicity itself. Alright. Time to save again. In we go. Um. Hello. What's uh, what's going on, Gandhi? My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am. Who you are means nothing. All that matters 
is your reverence to the One. You came to invoke the Great Lord with the speaking, and now I ask you, who am I, you wretched mortal? Dondi. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Permit. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Uh, for. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Uh, I'm following a walkthrough here. Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment before serving as food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great Lord. Soon he will heed our call. When those titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king, the sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. You will plead for the abyss, as have all those before you who fed the Great One. Those who give their weak flesh to our Lord cry for his return. So shall you. He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble in awe. Behold, the Great One returns! Cthulhu? He makes so much noise. I better be on my way. Okay, now what? Ah! This isn't right. Perhaps if I yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. That's what this is. Okay. Oh, this is very Silent Hill-ish. Alright. Oh, I'm in the laundry now. Sir? No challenge here. It is a primitive lock. Pardon me, sir. I need your help. He does not seem to hear me. M Moriarty! Moriarty, my worst enemy and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Well. Oh, 
find this outsider as quick. Professor, do you hear that voice? This man who is speaking to two others, a man of great intellect and ability, who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his name. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. Stand where you are. It seems like I'm almost out of here. This is just Sherlock's house, but retextured. At last, the laundry. First of all, I must prepare my Amos disguise. It is the imposter! He is here! I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. The doctor is not here. We had internal concerns arise today. Herr Director is engaged with urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Very well. We will take this troublesome wretch along with us. Perhaps tomorrow, the Doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you, and why have you come here? What is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes! But, but what are you doing here? <laughs> and you are as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. It's quite possible, Watson. Quite possible. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent not our own, one that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. Uh, um... Maori? Maori? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. You are quite correct, Watson. New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America, our nemesis has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to La Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions before our departure from Switzerland, but it is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. We are dealing with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. Is it actually Moriarty? Hello. Do you require assistance, young man?
Don't open it. Ooh. Ah, yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, the big detective, it is often necessary to use all of one's little gray cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. Ah, yes, the beautiful lands of Europe. As soon as we find a hotel, we shall send for our bags. I took care to leave nothing of value on board. Everything is safe and secure right here. I even have a rough map of the city. As you can see, Holmes, I prepared for every possibility. Hmm. And here we are in the new world. A whole continent ready to welcome us with open arms. Is this not invigorating, Holmes? Think of the challenge that lies ahead. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Watson, but let me remind you that we have few clues and time is not our ally. And countless lives rely upon our success. You know. You are right, Holmes. Perhaps we should secure some local currency with our bills of exchange. At the present, we have but a few dollars at our disposal. You know, um, if you want to be less conspicuous, you should probably get rid of the British attire that you're wearing. That is a very detective-y hat. Alright, well, I'm going to save here. And that's going to be all for today, now that everything's working for the most part. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Uh, including some dinner. I want to go make some dinner. Lorette's setting out. Bye!